Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out on the Citadel server again today, just outside of West Hill, uh, I guess inside of West Hill right now, but we're working outside of West Hill, uh, checking out some of the landscaping and other details that need to be added to this build that's almost four years old. And uh, while it is not today, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. Uh, this is the seven year anniversary for the Citadel. We've been working on this server and playing on this server with friends for seven years on the 14th, which is tomorrow. So very, very cool. I am really happy with the way that uh, this project and this server and the friends that I've been able to make and hang out with uh, over the last seven years, it's been a really, really cool experience as a creator. So uh, cheers to another Seven years? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't predict seven years when I started the server. I have no idea uh, where things are going. But uh, I do know that we need to work on some more stuff around here. And um, I'm a little stumped because I don't know exactly what we're going to do. I I know that I want to. I think I want to refine this area that I started yesterday. Uh, it looks a little unfinished, and I know I don't have the tough, the tough slabs here but i think i'm going to use cobblestone instead and that way it won't blend so much with the wall behind it and it'll look a little bit better so i think that's a good place to start and i have a good chunk of things in my inventory so we're going to go balance this out a little bit dab sweet sandy blast jordan good to see y'all hope you're having a good saturday so far i am full of pancakes even though i didn't push the insta the instagram image out today i um I forgot I was too busy eating. Too busy eating the pancakes. Uh, what do I not need? Uh, the brown stuff. I don't need brown blocks for what we're doing right now today. So we'll put these back. Uh, dirt. Grass. Gravel, stone. Andesite slabs. We're going to need stone slabs, probably. More tough. Cobblestone, mossy cobblestone. Uh, don't know if we'll need the mossy bricks, but we'll bring them anyway. Mossy cobble, rather. Definitely need those. Moss carpet. Acacia. Thanks for the well wishes. Happy birthday to the Citadel. All that good stuff. Probably some more ferns. Good for grass. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh, buttons and pressure plates. Sad face, we have to turn the shaders off so I don't lose frames constantly. Uh, well, before we go over there, I do, now that I have the um, cracked stone in my inventory, I do want to do a little bit of work here. I feel like some of this could be a little bit more beat up. It doesn't take much. It does not take much. Oh, I didn't bring any regular cobble. Should get that too. Welcome in, Dad. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Is this your first time hanging out on the channel? Uh, cobblestone is here. Nope, there. I normally get that right. I was watching Impulse SV uh, the other day on YouTube, and he's got a similar shulker box mod but the the symbols are really large really large i'm gonna have to ask him about that on monday uh, we have impulse sv coming by the spawn chunks podcast on monday to fill in for johnny i 
So all I'm trying to do here is just kind of get a little bit more like wear and tear happening. A little bit closer to the edges of things. Just to kind of indicate carts coming in and going and cutting the corner a little bit. I don't know if I've used cobblestone in the road. I feel like I have. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Some of this is feeling a little repetitive. Man, I am missing everything today. I feel like this was just marking the center. Yeah, we'll move this. I'll leave this for now, just so I know where the center of the original crossroads is. I tend to manipulate this stuff later on anyway. I try and catch your stream when I can. I love your work on here. Thanks very much, Dab. That's very kind of you. I may have a little bit of extra time today and I might go back to the Dartmouth Meadows and take a little walk around. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much for the ongoing support, as always. Hope you're having a good day, Mind Trip. Have a good lurk if you're lurking, or if you're actually. I know it's Saturday, so maybe you're around. I guess we could spend a lot of time doing this texture stuff today, too. I thought it would be fun to uh, maybe throw in like a mini tour. I don't want to do a full tour of the server because, of course, I think what's coming when this is done is a full tour of West Hill. But uh, when I go back to repair some stuff at the gold farm, maybe we'll take a little bit of a walk around. There's actually a couple of farms on the server I wouldn't mind going to visit just to kind of make a mental note as to what I want to change about them with... The crafter that could be a fun exercise we are going to be talking about the crafter on the show on monday on spawn chunks because impulse on the hermitcraft server they've had access to the crafter for uh a couple of months now at least because they have a data pack um hermitcraft isn't on 1.21 i didn't realize that until um impulse told me via dm I mean, I watch it, but they've they've always got some fun mods going on. So, like, I really wasn't paying attention or you know too closely to whether or not they were updated. Whenever you're texturing stuff like this, I, I picked up a tip from watching the textures and observing the textures in um, Minecraft dungeons. They use a lot, like a lot of cracked stone. It's everywhere, and it really does help. All right, so this to me is a funny shape. Uh, I think what I need to do is move it so that it's more like this maybe. And we'll switch it to cobblestone for now. I don't want it to look too even Up 
feels pretty good. What do we think? Too big? Maybe just shave a bit off here. Feel like that looks pretty natural. <clears throat> A hype train is close thanks to 700 bits from Sweet Sandy. That's amazing. 700 Citadel birthday bits. Thank you very much. That's really kind. And thank you, Sandy. Uh, and also thanks to Cosmic and uh, Elkhorn and the other moderators. Um, Mini Packs, I think, has, has popped in from time to time. Um, Folks that have been around on this channel for almost as long as the Citadel has been around. And uh, I really, really couldn't do all this streaming stuff without you. I really appreciate the help. But thank you again for the support, Sandy. With just 10 seconds to spare, Dab with 100 bits has kicked off a hype train. That is a very cool way to hang out on the server dab. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Kicking up a hype train. So if you want to get in on the hype train, folks, all you need to do is use 100 bits, a tier one sub or a prime gaming sub. And that will get you access to whatever emote comes in from that hype train. So I'm not going to leave this all as tough, but I think we can probably work in some mossy cobble around here as well. I'm just kind of going in layers. Oh, out of moss. Need to sleep anyway. Got a funny feeling we're going to go through a lot of moss. Mm -mm. What else do I want? I think that was it. Grandpa Crafter, those are some cool emotes. Welcome in, good to see you. Jay Christ says, yesterday I was finishing up a project. I got to sleep in late. And then spawn and spawn started. So I slept and went clean up. So I slept and went to clean up spawn, crammed the corner trading post, and there was a creeper right there. Did, didn't explode, that's good. I've had a couple of close calls. Fun story, in the seven years that I've been playing on the server, and the six plus years that I've been streaming, I, uh, I've only cursed on stream twice. And both of them were creeper related. <laughs> I think one startled me and the other one blew up something I had just finished building. And I was mad. Do, 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 do. All right. So when I do stuff like this, I, I start off with a basic, basic shape. Uh, it's low enough that there's still a lot of green happening between it and the wall behind it. And because it's not and a site anymore. I feel like that works a little bit better. Uh, we're going to add more green into it though. I feel like this side right here would probably get a little bit more mossy. So like let's grab some of this stuff here. And maybe we'll drop one in here. Like that, and I think maybe we can get away with a dropped bush here. I 
Might even be able to go with some moss carpet here too. These aren't my good shears? No. Okay. That looks all right. Could use a little bit more happening down through here, I think. That looks all right. Starting a tower build. Very cool, J. Christ. Thanks for that level one hype train, folks. Really appreciate it. Blast Jordan says, I always try to be family friendly in real life, but once a catalyst for swearing is available, a whole chain reaction occurs. I, yeah, I know what you mean. I um, I was up for dinner with a friend last night and we got into some serious chats uh, and also some like jokey stuff. And um, I've got a deep voice, so it carries. And as the restaurant got more and more empty, I became more aware of <laughs> how I was speaking and... You know, when you curse, you're just like, I, maybe, maybe I should have a softer, softer tone when you're talking about stuff. Now, I don't think I want this to be two blocks tall. Like, if I put a block in here, I don't think I want this to go up. I think I want it to stay low. Yeah, yeah, I don't want it to go up like that. I'm actually not sure about this middle part. I guess maybe, and then I can put regular stone here. It needs to have more than just the one, one texture. Oh, maybe, maybe this should be andesite. No, you know, I think the cobble is better. Anybody else walk 10 yards in Minecraft just to not have to go into their inventory hunting for something? I would much rather use pick block than open up the interface. I think it's because uh, much to the point that Fwip made on the podcast this past week, keeping out of the menu makes you feel like you're playing the game more. It's more immersive.
get a look at these other ones. I feel like there was a lot more, yeah, a lot more leaves there. And this one had, I think, more pressure plates. Yeah. Larger chunks as well. You can sort of see the approach. It, it goes in layers. So here, I think actually I'm going to redo some of this. We're going to bring this out a little farther. And I'm going to add in some of this. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's working. I might even want to put something here. Maybe you could have a bit of depth here with the moss carpet. Yeah. Hmm. Do we like the carpet there? Nope, I think we go with the pressure plate. Yeah, I think I like that better. I wonder if we can cut this a little bit. I feel like there's a bed in here somewhere. Oh, there's no door. The zombie must have broke it off or something. Turing, you never have the tools in your hotbar? I know what you mean. I find that sometimes pick block replaces things in my hotbar that I don't want it to. I know there's a trick to it. It's got something to do with like named tools versus not named tools. Oh good, we have a door. I'm assuming the door is supposed to open on this side. Oops.
sometimes it feels a little symmetrical when you do stuff like that. So basically, like once you get something like this finished, you can sort of do the texturing between. It's pretty good. I don't know about this one. That's a little bit better. This just feels very straight, so we're going to have to work on that. Probably the other way. Yep. It's funny, two together always feels too dark. I feel like you have to go back and forth. Elad Jenkins, thanks for the tier one sub. 17 months on a 17 month streak. 17, almost an adult. Elad, <laughs> that's cute. You can almost make decisions all on your own. Grandpa Crafter, thanks for the lurk. Enjoy the evening. I think it's evening for you, yes? The risk you take when you allow night to fall, doors may go missing. Yeah. Also, we play on hard difficulty, so there's always that, too. Mm -mm -mm This is just an awful lot of make busy work, isn't it? I really should try not to get too carried away. This feels kind of repetitive here. Whoops. I wonder what a green carpet would look like in here. Eh, it's just got kind of a weird, just it's a little off. I think it's a little yellow. Maybe what we need is some, some depth, some moss carpet. Yeah. I think it's the, the constant switching between tools that I find really annoying too. I know you get a little bit spoiled with modded, but Sometimes I really like the idea of a of a tool that does almost everything. Or if like Silk Touch was able to Silk Touch everything, then that would be good. I guess you'd have to make Silk Touch as an enchantment a little harder to get, but
think it looks pretty good. So I think it looks good from the road here. Looks good from here. Again, I'm probably going to revisit it when I have tough slabs because I think it'll look a lot better with tough slabs. This feels a little bland. Just feels very straight here. I don't know that there's much that can be done. I guess we could try to push the grass out a little bit. That helps a little bit. I flip-flop on whether or not I like cobblestone as a texture. I find sometimes I like it, and then other times I find it incredibly distracting. Sometimes it looks really good. Like that, I feel like, works very well. can't do hard difficulty too much stress you do normal difficulty saves your sanity yeah i mean to each their own right that's why they have the dif difficulty levels i think really minecraft is such a creative game that there's no real wrong way to play you know if, if you find hard difficulty makes your game time unenjoyable then don't play hard you know Hey, a cosmic dancer appears. Quick, quick cosmic flyby and high by. Uh, I'm doing great, cosmic. Thank you. Uh, we were just talking about you in the grand scheme of things in terms of thanking moderators and celebrating seven years on the Citadel. Technically, it's tomorrow, but I'm not streaming tomorrow, so here we are. Peaceful is the hardest difficulty, says Turing. That's really interesting. It like as far as your life in the game in survival, it's the easiest. But I agree. I think that it's it's more labor intensive because you can't do a lot of farms and stuff like that. That makes sense. Alright, so I think I'm good with how this rock looks. Uh, I just need to smooth out some of these transitions. There's a couple of spots here that are a little bit on the bare side. So I'm just going to throw in a couple of moss blocks in here. Some of these are just a little bit funky, I guess. And then we'll have to pepper in a little bit of texture. Really wish we had slabs for moss. And actually here, it would be really good, I think, to, to work in... Um, some bushes.
couple of reasons. One, uh, it softens up the edge, uh, but two, it also reveals more of the work that we've done in terms of the textures in the marsh. And I like that. Yeah, just a little bit nicer. Don't know about here, maybe. Yeah, why not? All right, I think that's good. So that's all good. So now it's just kind of this section here. Needs a little TLC. Again, I'm trying not to just change every blade of grass and every little thing, although some texture along here would be good too. Unfortunately, those don't work on the edge. Maybe we'll have to put in some bushes here. Is that too much? It's a little bit much. I think we have to switch and start adding in a couple things. I wouldn't mind actually getting above ground here with a bush. Just have to figure out where I might need one. Yeah, that helps cover up that straight line there too. So maybe we'll even put one Maybe we'll just do this. Oh, am I out of bushes? Yes. That sort of connects to this little rock thing here too. So this kind of comes in and then like snakes around, kind of does like a zigzag, but it does a couple of things. I'm not crazy about this long straight line on the marsh, but it's Minecraft, so you kind of have to have some of them. And I feel like right when it looks straight, it kind of gets covered up by the bush. And I think that fills the space nicely. And happy accident, it's kind of between a couple of other points here. Again, like I'm trying not to overdo it. Famous last words.
It's hard to not space these out too evenly. They look kind of symmetrical, right? And this part is going to be a pain. I really don't know what to do in there. Greelit, thanks for the lurk. With Minecraft, everything tends to match up on a grid and make a pattern. Yeah, it's really hard. I think the harder thing with the grass, too, is also the fact that it's kind of randomly in the middle or offset. Oh, am I out of Azalea? Getting close. Yeah, I find it's hard to break the grid. I think also people, like humans, like uh, order, whereas nature is much more chaotic. And and even though there are patterns in nature, there's also a lot of stuff that you just can't really seem to wrap your head around as a pattern. Like think about how a tree grows. And if you ever if you've ever tried to draw or paint a tree it's always easier to do an impression of the tree and kind of let some of the randomness of the paintbrush or your or your um, strokes of your hand in your pencil kind of like be something random. Because if you try to draw the tree exactly as it is, you end up repeating patterns. It's weird. Yeah, so outside of just, you know, softening up the edge here, I really don't know what I should do. I think it might be better to walk away from this for a bit and just kind of like try to move on to something else. I don't know what's happening here. The good news is we've got it all sorted from really here down. So this was a huge chunk of, of land that I had no idea what to do with. And over the last few streams, we've managed to fill in this area with some pretty dense foliage overgrowth we've managed to add a custom tree roots and stuff a little path uh we've got the path decorated a little bit of a overflow from that foliage but then, then there's an empty space here but then we've really filled in the rest quite well i think i think this is all working pretty well Feels very lived in, yeah. Uh, not by people, but just like lived in by nature. I know what you mean. The details, they just, they take so long. And I think part of it is just that I, I'm looking forward to finishing this. I know the hard part is that I really want to update to 1.21. Uh, I'd like to be with the rest of the Minecraft players, but um, our data pack for tables and chairs is, I think, going to break. And... I know Elkhorn was in the chat on either Thursday or yesterday and said that he had found a solution. See, some of this is just the, the first time it broke, it turned all the chairs around. So I have to go around the entire town and look at all the tables and chairs and see what I can do to fix it. But I'm not going to bother to do that until I can get into 1.21 and maybe just even make a new data pack, you know? Um... I think it might be worth it for me to just take control of that data pack because I want to use tables and chairs in the modern city as well. And so if I can just take control of it, write it myself or hire somebody to write it, develop it for me. Um, I think I need to stop trying to do everything myself as the admin on the server and kind of reach out to see who might be willing to 
to help out. And the thing is, like, I don't want it to be... I want to make sure I pay somebody. Like, I, I don't want it to be, like, a volunteer thing. Because I want to have, like, that kind of professional coding. Um, I, I guess we'll call it, like, a professional relationship. Because if somebody's volunteering something and then it's broken or you've got some complaints about it or it isn't quite right, you feel kind of bad, right? Whereas if you paid for it, you're like, you know, this was the... This was the was the exchange that we agreed on, right? Okay, I am hovering and having no thoughts of inspiration as to what to do here, other than just like more random bushes, which I'm not in the mood to do right now. So I will let this stew for a minute. Maybe we can do something like an extension of the marsh or there's no real runoff or reason for something here. I don't think any water there would be any good. I Well, you know, I say that. I don't want to necessarily extend the marsh. It would make it look a little bit more natural. I wonder if I was to like to come in here and poke some holes. I mean, famous last words. I've got no inspiration. And then proceeds to get inspiration. I saw Scar do this on Hermitcraft this week. He did a really good job, which, I mean, surprise, Scar doing a good job with landscaping. So what if we started to have, like, a half wetland? I mean, again, I've tried to be random, and I have 100% made a grid. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I just want it to not look like a square. Please and thank you. I feel like that could work. The vampire maid! Hello, hello. I am indeed having a good day. I'm not going to make a stable there. That's That would block the view. English castle and Aztec temples and a mega build. That sounds cool, vampire maid. Are you using reference? Are you using like reference images and stuff? Like concept art? So just to kind of illustrate what I'm thinking, what if some of this, I don't know if I want to do mud or mangrove roots, but like, let's just, uh, dirt, grass. This will be easy to fix if it doesn't work. I don't know. It might need more more water. All of these are going to be filled.
to make a temporary source. More like wet dirt than marsh water. Yeah, like I wanted it to look like maybe it's some wet ground, but higher up. So I think it needs to be more blue, not brown. Oh, German castles, not English. Okay. So maybe this has to be bushes instead. I feel like the green could work, maybe. If we put in a little bit of brown too. I mean, maybe even some slabs or something. Seventeen hours, that's a long time. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Video games will always be here when you wake up. Uh, actually, I probably will need those. It's weird how the map tends to inform me when I'm doing things correctly. I think I've got the right idea. I just think it's going to take a while. Oh, I went all that way and I forgot to get core dirt slabs. Sandy has forgotten how to mod. It's break time. Thanks very much, Sandy. I just noticed myself too. I got carried away. I thought I was getting ready to take a break and then I got an idea. And here I am. I don't know if this makes sense. I feel like it does. I feel like the brown might be too much. I feel like uh, instead of these blocks, maybe I need to go more coarse dirt. Yeah. Anyway, if you're new to the server, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to uh, zap my coffee, refresh my water. Gives you a chance to grab a snack, maybe even grab a friend. We are always trying to grow the channel, so if you wouldn't mind sharing it around, I would very much appreciate it. There is a tweet, at Joel Duggan on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it. And there is also a story on Instagram, at Joel Duggan. Again, very easy to find. And I'll see you folks in about five or six minutes.
As per usual, after the break, there's a bunch of mobs burning and dying. Hopefully, no creepers. There's also overhangs, so skeletons have a place to hang out and not die. I can hear someone. Creeper over there, creeper over there. There was a creeper over there. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this little this little build. I think like some of these I think maybe all of these root blocks have to be replaced with leaves. And then we could also add in Oh no, that's got a slab in it. But if I didn't have a slab in it, and I just had the root stuff. Not that you can really see the grass. I'm not sure what's better. I mean, you can't get close enough to see the slab anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess we could do a bit of a trick and make it two blocks deep, which would be weird. We go with moss just because it's cheaper. And then I could also do something like that, but that feels, yeah, that flows around. That doesn't make any sense. All right, never mind. Thanks, Sweet Sandy. Thank you, Blast. I think it's starting to look good. The uh, the water thing is a bit of a pain. I can't just grab it from the swamp because, or the marsh, because of the um, seagrass. The seagrass doesn't let you take the water out. I think I want to go as dark as having mud. That doesn't seem right. I have to be careful. We can't use any concrete powder in here either. What other block could I put there? Soul sand or soul soil maybe? Uh, rooted dirt maybe looks a little bit too light. Mythical Emmy rating with a party of six. Thanks so much, Mythical Emmy. How are you? We are throwing our heads up against the wall here trying to make a wet grass area. And I don't know if it's going well, but it's going. 
Um, I need something that's in between coarse dirt and grass. I don't know if that exists. Green terracotta, maybe? Does sound like headbangy work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not in the fun heavy metal way, but in the in the banging my head up against the Minecraft block kind of way. So what we were thinking before y'all came in with the raid uh, was this area here is pretty empty. We've been working the stream on filling the rest of this area in, and so far so good. Like I, I like this rock, I like the bush, I like the grass and the details, and all this looks pretty good. It's meant to just not distract. It's the idea is that there's supposed to be some stuff here for depth, but like really the wall and the marsh is the is the show stop and feature. But I thought this area here, it feels kind of like low lying because of the way that the road goes. And I thought that this might be a good spot for like just mucky wet grass that just kind of drains into the marsh because the marsh drains into the river. So it would make sense. Right, the, the marsh drains into the river over here, so it would make sense that it would kind of like come off the road maybe and run off a little bit. But I've, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of just spitballing as I go here. But we can't use the concrete powder that I use for texture because, of course, next to the water it would turn into concrete, and that's like bright green. So I was thinking about using um, some terracotta here. Yeah. The terracotta might be good next to some of this brown stuff, but not next to the bright green. Yeah, that's lighter than I want. I want darker. Don't want that. I want. Whoops. I feel like maybe this stuff should be closer to the marsh. That sort of works. Not terrible. Plus, if I start adding some carpet for some depth, that'll help. It's a lot of back and forth. So for folks that just came in uh, with the Mythical Emmy Raid, thanks ever so much for sticking around. Uh, I appreciate if you've uh, been hanging out on Twitch a while and you need to take a break, then uh, by all means, take care of yourself. Uh, that goes for you too, uh, Emmy. If you uh, want to stick around, then uh, this is kind of par for the course. This is what we've been doing. We've been working on this medieval town for three and a half years. And I... Uh, I'm getting close to finished, but we're also battling with when and how to update to 1.21 and how to work in some of the new blocks, that kind of stuff. Uh, you can also see other things that I do on Joel Duggan VODs if you want to catch up on this entire build, uh, which has been um, really fun, but also um, a lot of odds if you want to check those out. And uh, check out the Spun Chunks as well. If you recognize the voice, it's because I do the Spun Chunks with uh, Pixel Refs. Although... The next couple of weeks, Pixel Rifts is away on vacation. So this past week was FWIP. This coming Monday will be Impulse SV from the Hermitcraft server. And the week after that, I don't know. I will <laughs> have to find someone to fill in for Johnny. Uh, Johnny is, of course, going to be uh, away a little bit longer than expected. So, 
and yes, Johnny and Pixel are the same person. Sometimes people don't clue in. I uh, I flip flop. It's I I'm a I'm old school. I like using people's names, but there's a lot of people out there that only know them as Pix. I think I like the way this is coming together. I think. My inventory is very full. I have no idea if this is going to make any sense. Waterlogging blocks is one of the coolest things they've ever added to the game. I like it, but I don't like the stone. I like the little I like the little dashes, like I like the shape that it gives us, but I don't necessarily love the stone. I haven't really tried the soul soil over here, have I? Or soul sand. I don't know if that's going to be too dark. It's not bad. It does go between the rooted dirt and the coarse dirt. So if we looked at these in, an, in a row, I feel like soul sand. Good mix. It's a good gradient. I don't know whether soul soil would be better. We need to go get more moss carpet anyway. Moss in general is very low. That'll be a good break. We'll take a little road trip. Soul soil. There we go. I need, I might need more of that too. Soil, yeah. It'll be good to go get. They're kind of the same, aren't they? Same color, just different pattern. I think that one actually goes better. Now here, I wonder if we can get away Don't, I don't know. This is going to be, I don't know what a bucket of water is going to do there. This might be tough. Probably not going to do what I want. Hopefully it's not going to ruin anything. My guess is that it's going to fill this entire space and then go right down into that and hopefully not go in two different directions. Dang it. Not what I wanted. I really thought that was just going to go straight. Uh, what could we do here? What if this was not a slab? Same thing. Uh, if this was water? I 
Rage Army, thanks for the lurk. Mythical Emmy, thank you so much for the lurk. We'll nag you from my suggestion from yesterday. Gem plus Doggy need to have a uh, pro's view on the new dogs in game. Pro breeding Gem's dog, not Gem. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I agree. I think Gem is a great choice, but she's busy with the dog. Plus, I feel like I've had Gem on a couple times without Pixel Riffs, and I think it would be really good to have, have Gem on with Johnny. Just started a hopefully forever world today. That's cool, Mythical Emmy. Uh, would be Studio Ghibli themed kind of because of inspiration from you and a few other long-term project Minecraft builders. That's amazing, Emmy. Thank you so much. I know you're probably um, taking a break and lurking, but uh, if you watch this later or if anybody in, in Emmy's community can pass that along, uh, I really appreciate that. That's, that's awesome. I love hearing that the work that I do in Minecraft has inspired you to do something. That's awesome. Um, and folks in my chat, if you want to go... Oh, you still hear me? Okay, cool. Um, if, if folks in my chat want to go check out the new Forever World and encourage the foreverness of it, hold Emmy to it. If Emmy somehow decides to, to move on, say, nay, you said it publicly in Joel's chat and therefore you must adhere to and stay, stay true to the Forever World. I'm teasing, of course. Um, but do go follow Emmy on Twitch. Uh, mythical Emmy with two L's. Mythically Emmy. I'm sorry. I've been mispronouncing that this entire stream. Mythically Emmy. It's a lot of syllables with the wrong emphasis. Sorry, dad jokes. Dancing Dave. Welcome in. Trading hall today. Those are always tedious. Rewarding, but tedious. I don't like dealing with villagers. I don't know anybody that does. I completely lost my train of thought as to what I was supposed to be doing next. Oh, water, right. Ah, it still doesn't work. Dang it. I guess maybe this has to be waterlogged that way? No, that just stays contained. Okay. That doesn't work. I feel like what we could do, maybe I could just waterlog a couple of bushes. And it'll look like the water goes over. It looks a little weird. That sort of pulls the water up a little bit. Not that anybody's really gonna see that. But that sort of works. We have we have a, a flow, sort of, kinda. Kind of raids, dedication. Yep, yep. I'm in it for the long haul. Once I've once I put enough time into this, like once I was in this area for six months, I was like, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a little bit of a haul, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. And that is gonna be looking weird, but that's fine. I think that'll look. That sort of reads from over here. It's definitely different. Like you can see the blue. What does it look like from the road? There's still a lot of brown. I think it just needs more 
more of these dotted around. And they don't all have to be waterlogged. We could still just have some of them that are just on their own. I think, I think it's working. I think I just need more time on it. And, it'll probably, and I think maybe it needs to be expanded a little bit. I don't know about these roots though. Oh, that, those don't have water. Maybe that's why. more water over here I think I think it's probably better to go on the idea of more water than less I'd rather have more and then reduce it rather than be constantly trying to add and never having enough and I think I also have to be conscious of making sure that the darker blocks are closer to the marsh and then the lighter blocks are closer to us. So like if I wanted another brown part here. This is where I find the map very helpful. Oops, that's the wrong button. Yeah, like I need water right there. I remember how frustrating this was to build as a marsh because of all the stone immediately under it. There was a bit of a cave here that I had to fill in. Whoops. I just tabbed out of Minecraft. Uh, oh, wow. We are low on some things. There might be some resource gathering that needs to happen here. I remember how many rooted dirt I went through when I was building the marsh in the first place. Yeah, so like, I like this, but I keep on getting distracted by these really dark ones. Whoops.
Yeah, I think generally it works better with the coarse dirt and the mangrove coming out to the edge. Oh, I don't have any more terracotta. All right. Okay, I think it might be time to go get some stuff. So we'll build a little shopping list here. Uh, moss, moss carpet. Um, we need rooted dirt. Sorry, muddy mangrove roots, mangrove roots. I need to double check. I might have some more stuff inside. So we'll be taking this with us. Oh, first we're going to empty some inventory space. So that's coming. Coarse dirt, we can just make more when we need it. I need to repair my shears. Put those back. That goes in there. More carrots is another thing that we need. I think we're good for gunpowder. So that's coming with us. How are we doing for bushes? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got Azalea inside in a different shulker box. And Terracotta was the other thing. We can re-dye existing Terracotta, but I've got to make sure that I actually have enough. Oh, I'm holding my moss. Hold on. How are we doing for tough? Oh, we're good. Okay. Tough and site, we're solid. Gravel, we're good. Stone, we got lots. Bricks, we're good. Cobblestone, also good. Grass, we have coming out of our ears. Uh, oh, yeah, soul sand and soul soil. Not that we need a lot of it, but... My shulker box. Well, I'm okay for soul sand. I don't think I need any soul sand, but soul soil will take a little bit, I think. And I guess technically mud. Yeah. Again, I'll double check inside. I feel like I might have some. So when I go on these resource gathering trips, generally you get a little bit of a server tour, which is kind of a fitting thing to do on the anniversary of the server. So we'll get through some of that. I need to grab some alternate food is what I really need to do. And we're okay for mangrove. We'll get some if we need some, but... Wood. Take the bed. We'll grab the bow and a couple of arrows. We'll need that. Uh, we'll bring that to in the ender chest. Don't remember what goes there. Probably this. And that I think is empty. We'll need that, of course. All right, 
let's pop inside. Yeah, I'm gonna take a short road trip. We're gonna um, go get some stuff, maybe repair a couple of tools. Like I said, I I don't really want to do like a full server tour. They always seem to be better with somebody. So, and I know I've got a tour coming up with the end of this build. So, but um, but these road trips are usually a good way for people to see the server, especially if there's a, some new folks here on Twitch today. We do have one fast travel node, but I'll I'll walk the rest of the way. So we'll be, we'll go through the Nether and see some stuff. Uh, some emeralds for the annoying guy. I don't know where I would even get emeralds. I don't know where I have any. Oh, do I have? I have one carrot there. I have three carrots there. No carrots there. We're good for gunpowder. That's easy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pill for some carrots. Uh, we are good for terracotta. Okay, so I don't need the terracotta on my little list. That's good. No worries about terracotta. Uh, soul sand, 100% fine. But soul soil... <clears throat> and soul soil is something we could make, but it's easier to just harvest if we can mine it up somewhere. Hmm... Azalea. Well, we're pretty good. We could maybe top it up, but I don't not too worried about it. Alright, let's put some of this stuff away. Bones can just go in there for now. Gunpowder. Leather I saw somewhere. Ink is in there. Uh, carrots, bamboo. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Oh, got some more carrots there. And I need some potatoes just for the journey. Anything else in there that I want? No. The mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going? Dab, thanks so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Appreciate it. I really need to get myself some animated emotes. I know I can do it, I just have to make the time. Well, that looks really cool. It looks very full. Sometimes even just stepping away a couple hundred blocks is enough. The shaders catch the top of the um of the marsh blocks a little bit. They're a little harsh. Once the sun gets higher, it's not as bad. But this low angle, it reflects weird. Because it shouldn't reflect at all. I mean, the sunlight is coming in this way. It should bounce off that way. We shouldn't see it at all. But you can see the tops of everything are very bright with this shader pack. Art stream? I, my Mac can't handle it, unfortunately. I could try it on the PC, I guess. It's been a long time since I've done any artwork on a PC, though. I also have, um, I have to work with new software. I don't have Adobe anymore. I canceled my Creative Cloud subscription because it was $80 Canadian a month and just bloated and not doing what I wanted it to. So I switched to a one-time purchase of Affinity. So I've got Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Layout. I don't remember the name of the other Affinity software package, but 
um, one price for both Mac PC uh, as well as mobile. But if I was to do any drawing, um, Krita or Kira? Hold on. What's it called? I downloaded it and installed it. I haven't played with it yet, though. It was a free, well-reviewed app. It was called Krita. K-R-I-T-A is the art application I have on the PC. Uh, if I was to do any drawing, I would probably just drop the money on an Apple Pencil and work on an iPad Pro, which I have. So I don't know. I'd have to talk to Steven because I know that Steven does some art streaming from an iPad. And I think he like captures his iPad. But again, my I'd have to figure out a way to do it with a PC because my Mac is a 2017 iMac and it is showing its age. And um, whenever I try to stream and do something else on it that is intensive, uh, it's very chuggy. And as long, I mean, like the the iPad probably wouldn't chug. So as long as the drawing experience is smooth, um, I'd also have to learn Procreate. Like there's just, there's a couple of hurdles. Um, for folks that don't know, I worked as a professional artist for years and um, still have that skill, but it's not practiced. It's, it's not something that I've been doing very much the last five years. Uh, I've done some stuff, but not a lot. I picked these blocks up again. I do not want them. So again, for folks that came in with that raid, we do have fast travel on the server. Uh, we are currently 10,000 blocks or 9,000 blocks away from spawn. And this takes us all the way back. And we have these little faux portals. Same thing, there's a command block underneath there. And you just press a button and you quote unquote go through the portal. Um, I have extended my render distance on the server. So you can actually see Steven's uh, Asteria build from here. Uh, it would be kind of fun to rip down this mountain and, and give Steven a view from the central hub here. I think that would be pretty cool. I'll have to talk to him about it. I'm not sure whether he likes that weird stone thing that's in the way, but it could be fun. Had we were, you know, had we been better organized, it would have been nice to do like a group server tour and show everybody on my stream other people's builds. So not my builds, but other people's. Because I did I did a server tour with Alistair a couple years ago. Uh, what am I looking for here? Moss. Moss is the easy one to get. We'll do go look at that first. Yeah, I need more building materials. That's the plan. I don't know if we're going to go all the way to the swamp. I should have grabbed some speed potions. I am going to top up my iron, though. Yes, our iron farm is broken. It is not working. So that's something else we gotta fix. The last time I was here, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of moss, so I don't think we have to run the farm. should be fine. Uh, Azalea, we'll top that up too. Those are the flowers. We should be good there. Got it, got it. So now we need carrots. 
and gold. So for folks that are wondering, that's the moss farm out there. Let's go back to the meadows, I guess. I can't wait to have my sci-fi area where I can have, like, personalized farms that are just pumping out all kinds of good stuff. This place could use a refresh. I feel like there's been some creeper explosions. This is Dartmouth Meadows for anybody that's never been here. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, if it's a thunderstorm, I can sleep and get rid of the rain. I'm pretty sure I have to go to the farm to get stuff. It's a cool view. Halloween stuff that never came down from years ago. This is a weird little spawn town where we've got beacons and all kinds of like farm looking things, but then modern amenities and yep. Okay. Uh, let's go with you. One, two, three, four. That should be fine. Carrots are done. I think probably we'll do soul soil first and then I'll repair stuff. And I'll probably repair stuff on the break. Portal, let's go this way. Why not? The much simpler way of doing the, the paths, but it's still effective. It's still effective. I wish that we could add textures in here that wouldn't add the height changes. I think that would be more fun. So much of this stuff is old tech that doesn't work anymore, too. <laughs> Three guesses as to whose house this is. First two guesses don't count. Man, this is what I used to do for landscaping. And it is uh, not great. What is going on here? I don't remember this sign being here. Entrance abandoned mine. Oh, that's huh. Don't remember that being there. Really interesting when you look back at things that you did like four years ago. Some of the stuff looks fine. We obviously didn't have any moss blocks either. This was really fun. I can't wait to start working with color again. I feel so gray and brown. Working in Wessel all the time. Sweet Sandy says, Cosmic, cosmic, maybe cosmic. You are indeed correct. <laughs> I want soul soil. Where is the closest? I want to say north for the thing that I want. I only need like a stack. Maybe two. Aw, oh, my speed wore off. Sort of going to have to backtrack to repair stuff, but that's fine. I actually, I really don't like going to collect mud and mangrove roots and stuff. 
I find mangrove everything is pretty tedious in general. I could have sworn there was a soul soil. Not that's a not a soul sand valley. That's a what's it called? Basalt delta. Where's the next soul sand valley? Oh, is this not gonna work? Uh, I need to reduce the something or other. Where is it? Cave mode. Ninety, I think, gives us the most view. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. That looks like it might be some soul sand. Huh. It actually looks like it's over here. All right. Well, I'll go back. What I'll probably do is repair my stuff when I'm on break and then go get the soul, sand, soul soil after. The flowers give you a hint? Maybe. Perhaps a giant hint. So even though we've had a, a good seven years on this server, some of our nether highways are absolute day one cobblestone. It's cheap. It's easy. Ghasts can't blow it up. Unfortunately, pigmen can walk on it. We've not dug trenches around it like we have in all the places. Um, some of the closer stuff to the hub, we've got too high blocks so people can't get on it but it's very weird and sort of unfinished In places like this then they can't get up they can exist over there and then just not bother us because we've got this little trench but it's uh still old school I could have sworn there was another soul sand valley right here somewhere. So I'm going to take my next break just a little bit early. We're only two minutes early. This actually worked out quite well. Um, we're going to repair the shears. Not that we have much more to repair. I'm surprised my shovel isn't worse off. But it's not the pair of shears that I have in my hand. I've got a mending, unbreakable pair of shears. Um, everything else. Oh, the hoe needs to be fixed up as well. Shears, shears, shovel in the hole. Cool. So I'll do this while I'm on break. Uh, that usually is open. Oh, I missed. I don't normally miss. Twice in a row? Seriously? Gotcha. All right, let's not listen to this. So I'm gonna step away while these guys uh, help me repair my stuff. I'll be back in five or six minutes and then we're gonna go collect some mud and other things. Be right back.
And we just about repaired everything. It was great. Those are done. Shears are done. I'll probably leave these in here, actually. Save myself the space and just combine these non-enchanted shears. And we're good. Can probably just leave these out. Uh we don't need the hoe. It's really only the shovel. That'll take a beating. Cool. And I'll turn the volume up once we get far enough away that this is not going to be crazy noisy. And hopefully we've got some gold. Not a lot, but enough. And that will at least get a few carrots done. Oh, that's not the carrot box. Let's think an orange. Half a stack, I'll take it. Just to tide us over for now. Did you do your Twitch emotes yourself? Yep. Yep, they're all mine. There's only four of them, but yeah. And if you've been spending any time in Pixel Rift's stream, I did um, a lot of his emotes as well, as well. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them. Whenever they expanded, whenever they did the first expansion on emotes, I did six, maybe eight picks. I was supposed to do others um, for more people, but I just, I never ended up having the time. That's a weird thing to be floating there. So, soul... Oh, I came all this back, way back here and I was supposed to get soul soil. Well, we'll look on the way. We'll look to see if we have any soul sand valleys on the way. I'm going to pop in and get a potion for speed. Unless I have one in here. Oh, I can't use those while I'm in here. Um, I'm just going to get a couple of speed potions. Uh, I used a Cintiq for the artwork, so it's um, not mouse and keyboard, but it's it's like a screen you can draw on. Uh, one, two, three, four should be fine. I might have even had some in here. Yeah, that's fine. It's probably faster to fly it, but it's not as fun. What I really should do when I want to work on some new stuff around the server is um, get some beacons going in the nether to really give us like super speed. That'd be great. I'll probably scoot a little bit of this once we get into the open. There's a couple of tunnels, though, that'll be better off ran run through instead of flying, because I don't actually know my way. If I can't see the road, I'm not exactly sure where to go. Of course, the elytra is a problem there, too. Keeping my eye out for soul soil. That's a delta. That is the frog light farm. That is soul sand, but this is not a soul sand valley. Uh, 
Ice Spikes Mesa Mangrove. I could have sworn there was one. Still no stairs here, Steven. <laughs> Steven is the resident. We'll turn everything into proper stairs. So we leave it up to him. Slacker. Yeah, I didn't see a mangro uh, a soul sand valley anywhere. Did I bring a bed? I did. There might even be a bed nearby. Nope. Oh, it's actually morning. It was so dark. So we're gonna go north. To the very end of this mangrove swamp. Uh, very much like an iPad with a pen. Yeah, it's ma ba made by Wacom. Um, but yeah, if I was to go back and do more artwork, I would probably switch to using an iPad. I feel like I need. I would. I was on the cusp of learning to do more mobile stuff because I want to be able to do some work when I'm not in the studio. So that's the plan. Is this what we've got done so far with the mangrove swamp? It is. Wow, we've made a dent. So what we've done with the mangrove, we've designated this as, um, oh, I've got to switch my Y level again. So we've got this um, huge mangrove swamp very far north on the server uh, in relation to there's Dartmouth Meadows and there's, there's the medieval town. It's kind of halfway, but it's massive, but it's really cool down here. So we decided if we were going to start mining it, we would mine it from the top down. That way we're probably far away from stuff that people might need. So really, this is going to be quite easy to get all the mud. I imagine we'll get a couple stacks of mud, no problem. I could have sworn I had some, but whatever. How many stacks do we want? Probably six. Oh yeah, this is not going to take very long at all. It's the roots that are going to be a problem. Probably going to stay on dry land just to kind of keep it easy. At least we're getting some muddy mangrove roots along the way. Well, that's the mud done. Uh, I guess I'll try for some mangrove roots. I feel like I have more somewhere. It's probably better just to grab them all, sort it out later.
Well, that would actually be maybe a better way to do it. Follow the roots. Whoever comes behind me is going to be mad. <laughs> Taking all the good stuff. They go deeper than I thought. I forgot how dizzying it is to see the particles from your speed potion all the time. It's a lot in your face. Ah, oh, that tree's missing. I guess I can just take some of these right off the trees. done this yeah looks like it's pretty empty on the root front oh there's some i am being that guy that's leaving the floating tree but i don't need the mangrove wood and man they are a pain in the butt to take down so we're just going for the goodies this time. Plus, the stuff is so fast. Yeah, that's a stack already. Leave it to me to be very fond of some of the more difficult tedious blocks to gather in the game. I guess I should say these ones in particular aren't tedious. The problem is that <clears throat> if I wanted to grow them, then you end up with these giant trees. And I really need to look into the mechanics of the mangrove trees because I would like to have like a mangrove tree farm and limit the height of them to like whatever their minimum height is. So that they're not, they don't grow into these giant things, but will just give us the basics, you know? I think that would be ideal. I mean, this is the lazy way to harvest, <laughs> for sure. They do grow in a fairly predictable pattern, so it's pretty easy to grab it all. This is going to be the floating mangrove forest soon. Oh, that should be plenty. Okay. The difficult blocks are the more rare ones and fun to use. That's fair. Yeah, like if you if you started off in a swamp or something and you decided that you wanted to really destroy it, I feel like you can get some decent blocks pretty quickly. I've got two stacks of these. Uh, more mud. Some extra goodies. And I think that's it. The only thing missing now is the soul soil, which we will look for on the way home. And it's not even dark yet. 
hopefully we can get back to the portal and get out of here before it turns into a death trap. I want to say it's a straight line. I often miss it. Look for the blue flames. Is there blue flames? Is it so because it's the soul torch that I used? I could also just cheat and use the map. Well, I've gone past it for sure. There's some torches. I think that's where I first arrived. Near this opening, I think. How good is my memory? I am lost. There are zombies and skeletons. I do not want to die. This far away from a bed. Really cool shaders in the moonlight. That's fun. Creepy. But fun. I'm sure I can see it on the map if I just have a second here. I want to say it's over there. There we go. That was not a soft landing. <laughs> Massive basalt delta. That's not what I want. I want a uh You can sleep underwater? That's a good that's a good trick. Yeah, I need to find a soul sand valley. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think previously I've just been making campfires. Like this basalt delta is huge. Absolutely huge. It looks like it's over here. Maybe over there. All right. I think I might have to leave that for next time. Didn't need any terracotta, so we're good there. Don't fire. Think I know the way from here. Yes. I saw a portal a second ago that I just don't know where it goes to. Yeah, I don't know where that goes. Where is that even connected? I wonder if there's a sign on it. How do I even get over there? Where would that be? Uh, 
That can't be it. I don't know where that goes. Where was the one that I saw that's outside? I've gone too far. Hold on. That was North Road right there. That's outside the... Huh. I have no idea. I'm curious where this one goes in the Piglin bartering. I didn't even know this was here. Does this go to Steven's place? Yes, yeah, Steven's Dare Monument, maybe? No. Where am I? No, this is MacCast's area? Oh, weird. Yeah, I don't know where. Huh. Really odd. There's a couple people that don't play on the server anymore, and that might have been it. Okay. Oh, I wonder... It's all sand. Yeah. I wonder if I have a recipe for soul soil. That would be a good data pack to add. Use soul sand to make soul soil. What would be a good recipe for that? Combining it with coarse dirt, maybe? Or mud? Coarse dirt would be more expensive because of the gravel. I did not check to see who's streaming on Twitch this afternoon. Oh, Ginger's live. That'll be fun. Oh, I turned around. Zoom, zoom. All right, folks, this is where we're going to have to leave you for the rest of the day. I uh, really appreciate everyone hanging out, even though we had to do, do a little adulting, a little errand running at the end of the stream to get some more resources for uh, the hopefully successful boggy area that I'm trying to add to the marsh. We'll see. We'll see if it sticks around. I think I've committed to it now. I'm just going to be bashing my head against the design until I get it done. Uh, I'm going to pass you along to Ginger the Lily, who is streaming on Twitch, playing some Minecraft. They are a fantastic member of this community, as well as the Spun Chunks community. The Spun Chunks, you ask? That's the podcast that I do, all about Minecraft, every Monday. I'm going to be talking with Impulse SV from the Minecraft Hermitcraft server on Monday. He is filling in for Johnny Pixel Riffs, who is away on vacation for the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to have another guest the following week. I don't know who that's going to be, so stay tuned for that. You can also check out Joel Duggan on Instagram and on Twitter. Very easy to find. That is when I announce when I go live. If you're a member of the Discord already, you'll get a heads up there as well. You can find that by going to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, or if you already have a sub here on Twitch. Those are the two ways that you can get into the Discord. Uh, Patreon is a lot more affordable. So if you're tightening up the, uh, the budget and you want to still support your favorite streamers, check out Patreon. They often have uh, good ways to support your streamers there. Uh, so once again, I will be back on Wednesday. I no longer stream on Sundays. It's Wednesdays now. So you can check that out. Uh, I'll be back in Minecraft here on Wednesdays. And we'll be picking up where we left off with this really strange attempt to make some wet area near the marsh. It's, 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 it's going. It's not bad. We'll, we'll get there. I think it's, it's good to see the soft edge to it. I think we might have to make it larger, to make it 
be something that I am happy with, but we'll get there. And I'll see you folks next time. Bye for now.